Hi there Transform fans, this is Skidsman Flap 1313 bringing you the first video review of 2014. And um, we have here for you, we have the Jackhammer with Wheeljack. And this is the Cyberverse um, line we're looking at. So, um, basically the Jackhammer, if you, if you don't know, if you don't know what the Jackhammer is, I will let you know now. Basically the Jackhammer is Wheeljack's ship, which he just, you know, he just goes on and he flies around in it and I have to say it may not be a hundred percent accurate but the paint the paint scheme and all that is remarkable and it, it does represent it mostly what it looks like in the uh, in the uh, in the cartoon now um, I use this a few times and you know um, I, th I think Optimus went in there bulkhead uh, Miko all that sort of stuff they went into it um, it has got quite a few little features that we can go through, um, but uh, we're just going to put that off to the side first, and I'm going to just uh, have a look at this guy. So, Wheeljack doesn't just come with a ship, he also comes with his signature weapons, which are two uh, blue sort of clear swords, uh, as you can see. Not They're not sharp, don't worry, they're, they're really like smooth, it's no problem. So, um... Rather than just like you know sticking them off to the side, he has pegs on the top of his car, uh, which you can peg these swords into, in order to give him some sort of like armored car, if you want to call it that. Um, they look like hockey sticks actually, um, which is pretty good. So he comes with them, but let's transform this guy. So and actually, I have to say this car really does look very very good. The front of it isn't like the. Um, the deluxe figure, which we'll be reviewing um, in a few videos time, You'll, we'll get to it, don't worry. Um, it's got a bit of a hollow bit there which takes it away, but even this is actually silver silver painted, which is amazing, the detail that goes into it. There's even an Autobot symbol up the top there, don't know if you can see that. Don't know if you can see that at all, but it's right there. That little red thing. <coughs> Again, it's not wanting to zoom, but uh, there we go. Look, woo! There we go. Um, <laughs> anyway, so um, the transforming use. Oh, and also he's got the lights on the back, which is again a nice detail. A bit hollow underneath, but there we go. It's a it's a, a cyberverse class. So, but there we go. <laughs> uh, right. So first of all, get to the back where the lights are and pull on them, and you will pull these out, which are his arms. Push them all the way down so that this uh, this grey joint goes all the way down. Rotate them and push them in more. Rotate, push it in some more. So you look, you've got a thing like this. Next thing you want to do is you want to grab the back and you want to. Oh no, you don't. Sorry. <laughs> you want to untap the uh, windshield here from the uh, front of the car and just pull that away and underneath there's like a joint which you can see here which does this sort of a thing and underneath there's a peg here and there's a hole there which they peg into like that and there's a nice satisfying click so uh, it won't go anywhere so just keep them facing this way because you'll see what happens now you push this down and not only will that go down but also the hands will rotate as well so they become like that Split the legs like that at the bonnet, and then at the bonnet with these details here, just push in, and the feet will rotate out, so he's got some to stand on. And that is Wheeljack in his robot mode. So it's a pretty good uh, represent representation of um, Wheeljack, and yes, he can hold his swords. Um, and you can also, if you want to, sorry about that, you can also uh, grab the sword and put it on the back. So it sort of sticks over his uh, thing. Obviously, he can't exactly go back to grab it. You can get it quite, actually, you can sort of hold it, but as you can see, it's a little bit awkward for the, the actual figure to rotate and grab it. But uh, you can sort of react him grabbing it. So that's pretty good. So there's Wheeljack. Um... We can get on his face a little bit. So look. Hmm. Let's just put 
collapse the camera. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Focus. Focus, poke the camera. Poke the camera. <coughs> you can sort of see his maybe if this work. Ooh, is it working? You can sort of see it there. But uh, he has got blue dots on his eyes and his chest. Oh, there we go, there we go. Hey, good. There you go, so you can see that. Okay, so, moving on to his ship. So, what features has it got? Well, it's got quite a few, probably round about... Five or six, maybe? Now, first things first, you can... You can see on the sides, it's, a, it's got these little hook things. Um, basically, on every playset, including the um, the Dark of the Moon ones, you've got these hook things. Now, I'm wondering whether you could like connect them all together. I don't know why you would, because it's not exactly going to make anything. But you can sort of just connect them together and have them as a sort of fort. Um, underneath our landing gear, so you can sort of like have it coming in for a you know, landing and sort of doing that. Or I think it just comes down and goes... Donk. Um, but nice detailing as you can see there with all the colours on the back. A little bit lacking on the back, uh, a little bit hollow down there, but you'll see why that is. Uh, and going around, and you've got this ca uh, the um, cockpit here. Now the cockpit actually opens, so you get there's this uh, like gun thing up here, so you just oh, uh, use that, open it up, and you can see inside there's a seat. Um, there's, I think there's, there is a display screen as well, but there's no sticker or detailing on it. Um, and you can actually, if you take all the weapons off Wheeljack and sort of get him into a sitting position, if that is a robot sitting position, plonk him in like so. Close the lid, and you can have Wheeljack in there, and you can see he's in there at the very front. So that's pretty good, you can actually have like one of them in there, but in the show you've got all the room to go through it and there's like, you know, all of the, he grabs the bombs and like, there's two seats. Oh no, you can't do it in this one. But in terms of like car to ship scale, it is a pretty good uh, scale. So you can close this back down, this leads to the next feature. Now on the very top of the ship there is an, oop. There's an ooh, yeah, there's an ooh. Um, there's an Autobot symbol right there. So what you'd want to do is you want to push that down, and I will show you what that does now. Hopefully you can see this. If you can't, I might have to cover it up. But you push the button down, and as you can see, that green light comes on. And in some like darker light, you can actually see that this is, is so, sort of travels through here. You can see it slightly there. As you can, see. there you go. See. So it like lights up that, looks as if you're gonna shoot, so you can do that like boom 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 boom. Only thing is it makes that stupid clicking noise, which can be quite annoying. Um, but anyway, good feature. That leads to another thing, which is you can actually m remove this device. And this comes into something that I've told you about with the uh, the other figures, is that you can actually grab these um, hollow, well not hollow, um, plastic little things, the see-through things. You can plug it in and push the button and the sword will slightly light up. Now, a better representation for showing you this would probably be Optimus Prime's gun. So I've got it here, this is only one of them. Um, so hopefully you can plug this in, or not. Ah, you can plug it in at the top. Um, and then, you, if I cover it up, you can see there it sort of goes through the uh, sort of goes through the gun but it's not you know 100% but it is a nice little feature to add on but i mostly just uh, have it going into the gun um, and there it, and when it comes there's like a few what wow um, there is a few features that, uh, sorry there's a few wires that um, you actually have to like wrap up and there's like a little slot back here, this little grey section here, you can like lift it up, I'll see if I can lift it up now, hold on, there's a little tan there, there we go, so you flick it up and you can see all the wires in there, um, and they're, they're not just like exposed wires, they've got like this rubber around them, so they're, they're pretty protected, so you can put that back over that, so that protects the wires and stops it from going everywhere around the figure. Um, right, so here comes probably one of the best features of this uh, ship, 
there's this sort of seat here and if you just put any finger really on it pull it all the way back and you'll see what happens so if I just put it here pull it back and the whole ship transforms into a sort of weapon base thing it never did this in the cartoon never did um, so what can you do on this mode well um, really not a lot the only thing that comes up is that you can move these little um, joystick panels and if you have a figure like Wheeljack for example get his arms lined up you can sit him or not sit him stand him there <coughs> and he can grab the turrets like so, so we can grab the turrets and you can actually have someone manning the turret and at the same time these turrets do have, there's a little uh, orange button bo on both of them, that you push and there's a clear missile that comes out, both sides have this missile um, oh, sorry bless me, whoa Caught me off guard. Okay, so um, so that 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 does happen as well. So I mean, aside from those features, that's what it does really. And I I I really don't display it in this mode because I just don't. You don't see it in the cartoon, and I'd rather it be displayed as its normal mode, as the ship. Everything folds up. Nothing has to be done to help it transform. It just does that, and it flicks open. Um, the battery pack is there if you're wondering to change the batteries. Um, but overall, it's a solid playset sort of thing, and you can have quite a bit of fun going around with this, getting it to transform, fly around with Wheeljack inside, and any other people you have, uh, not people, robots you have. Um, and it's just an all round really good playset to have. And there's very, there's quite a few of the little holes that you can peg in all the little weapons to if you want to really bulk this figure out because it uh, will become very good so you can like get Optimus Prime's gun and sort of like stick it onto there um, or on the side like that whether you want to do that is another thing but there you go so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video review of Wheeljack and the Jackhammer and we'll see you next time for more Transformers thanks for watching goodbye